<laughs> Hi, I'm Elizabeth. And Josh, you just touched briefly on the diversity in the game, and I was wondering what you all thought about what Blizzard's doing to really bring diversity to video games and having such a wide range of characters. I, that's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> to Great. be a positive character uh, that is uplifting and has brown skin that people look up to, that's a dream. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm just happy to be a part of that. And to see more of that outside of, I think they're setting a standard and that people are looking at, and I, I love it, so yeah. But, but they're also matching it, you know, they're bringing diversity to the game, but they're also bringing the most important thing, which is quality to, mm -hmm. to the yeah. game. It's not like these people are accessories, you know what I mean? They're, they're real. They're heroes. They're re yeah, they're real characters, you know, and that's, yeah. that's, that's the key thing, I think. Yeah, well said, yeah. And I'm really happy they made a character like a scient a female scientist. You know, in China, mm. a lot of games in China, they have those beauties who is very slim and beautiful, who is str uh, physically strong. And oh, a scientist, we, we need that, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, because, yeah, and that's, that's great, because it's not just, like, ethnic diversity, but we're talking, like, diversity of body types and, and sexualities, and yeah, just, it's... It's uh, really, it's, it's such an inclusive universe, and I think that's why, you know, everyone's been gravitating towards it, because there's just someone you can relate to in it. And it's, uh, I think that's a wonderful thing, and it's, it's, it's really an honor and privilege to be a part of. Well yeah. said. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Candy. Candy. Hmm. Hey. Hi, my name is Steven, and uh, with so many entertainment pe uh, personalities committing suicide, how do you guys maintain your mental health while doing all these voice actors, especially with so, so much toxicity in the uh, Overwatch world. How do you guys handle all that? It's an outstanding question. Um, by engaging with things that you really enjoy that are outside of, you know, acting and, you know, the competitive nature of Los Angeles and so forth, um, you know, Going on walks helps you clear your mind, you know, honestly. Mm. Um, talking to people. Talking to people. Yeah, actually talking to people. Knowing yeah. that, yeah. you know, if you feel down and you feel like crap, trust me, we've all probably been there too. And there's always going to be someone that you can talk to. There's a community online, you know, that you can go to and, you know, it, always reach out. You're <laughs> never alone. Never alone. You're never alone, you know. And, and there's somebody out there who will help you, who loves you, who cares very much about you. And just knowing that sometimes that's... that's Do you, you feel like it. you're struggling with something? Oh, no, I, it was just because of the uh, one year anniversary of uh, Chester Bennington passing right. from Lincoln Park. Like, <clears throat> he was one of my childhood heroes growing yeah. up. So seeing someone struggle that helped me out so much in my life. Yeah. Struggle with that. Like, I don't, I don't understand like how... Yeah. Yeah. So stuff like that happens with people who are, you know. I think it's a great reminder to always know, like feels that you're never alone. We're all with you. We're all with each other on this world, you know? So believe in who you are. Absolutely. Absolutely. Great question. Thank you. Uh, and also, don't listen to the, to the dark side of yourself that tells you, you know, you're not good enough or this kind of thing. That's a lot of it, too. That's why it's important, to be, as Josh said, to talk with other people, to, to get away from yourself sometimes. My name's Tiffany, and I just wanted to ask, um, how, do you guys view, how do you guys all view the Overwatch community? Not just us who came out to co come see you guys and how much we love and support you, but everyone, like, including the toxicity that you see in-game. Mm. Mm. I think that the community is passionate about something and if you're passionate there's a two-sided sword because it means you're you care enough to let yourself get upset over it you know and I think the biggest part of remembering is that it's a team game and positivity is gonna get you everywhere in life you know what I mean so it's better to pick the person up beside you than to push them down and look let's keep it real I get really salty when I play comp okay <laughs> Can we get some steak with the salt, please? I'll five. I need it. I'm dying. So I think that the community polices itself in a really good way. And 
We live in a world where there's a lot of us versus them mentality, and I'm really proud of the community of Overwatch and all of our fans for continuing to push the narrative of it's just us, you know? Yes. There's no them when you play with us, and there should be no them ever, because we're all human beings, and we all live on the same planet together, and I think you can only combat toxicity with more positivity, so, yep. yeah. Woo! Thank you. Thank well, you. Thank you, Thank Hanzo. You. Thank you. Oh, yes. oh yeah. <laughs> Hold on, you get one. You know it's my one, favorite. It's one. Thank you. Hello. Um, uh, my name is Andrew, and I was wondering if, uh, if you guys had your character's ultimate in real life, what's like, what would you do with it? Like, what's a instance where you would use it? Ew. Our ultimates are very dangerous, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> unpacking. I do use that in real life. Um, oh, let's break it down, the boxes that we have. <laughs> let's break it down. <laughs> break it down, boxes. No? He's just some uh, guy who works at UPS. Like, let's break it down. Oh, let's right. break it down. All right. All right. All right. Now, another one? Let's break this one down, too. All right. All right. <laughs> Got a paper cut. I need a medic. <laughs> I think the question was, if we could use, what would we do with our ultimate right. in real life? Junkrats is like a moving explosive, so I don't want to say he would do anything with that. And mine is like opening up like just a cannon of, of scrap metal. Um, hers is, could be useful. Putting out fires would be really good, right? Put on fire? Yeah. What, what on fire? Well, if like there was a fire in, in real <laughs> life, and you had May's like frozen orb that she throws, oh she'd be a really good firefighter, you're right? You're a hero. I, I was thinking I could fr froze all the people in Disneyland. And I could Even <laughs> uh, Wait, what? Yeah, well, what? What? You commit murder? <laughs> what are you... What? And I can go to all the those games without wow. waiting in line. Oh. Oh. I'm that's, sorry. What did she say? Wait, wait, wait. That's, she said so. That's dark. So she didn't have to yeah, wait in any lines at Disneyland. Oh, she would. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. That was a good dark. Answer. Sorry. That was a great answer. No, that was Seeing great. you in a whole it's new so life. Good. At least. Uh, Much respect. Well, I, I would never have a hangover then, I guess, right? You, yeah. you, you, you just. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You, yeah that'd be. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can't Thank, talk you. Thank you. Thank you.